unboxing. This is my fairy loot for May. And I totally don't remember what the theme is or anything like that. So I do want to check because I always post in my phone to see like if I'm right. Because you know how I am about predicting my books. Yeah, y'all know by now that I have this like weird habit addiction. Okay. My prediction is that the May book for Fairy Loot was Flames in the Mist. So let's find out if I'm right because I haven't opened it yet. And I have my trusty scissors this time so I don't have to like stop the camera and do weird things. Alright, Fairy Loot. Warriors and Legends, May 2017. Spoiler card! Alright, and my baby came and then that dog likes to see what's going on. Alright. So let's let's go through here. This is in the Wick of Time, which I like their candles. Um, has created an exclusive God bless you. Opposing Tin Candle for you this month, which was named by the author of our book of the month, and both scents tie into the story. There were two different candles sent out, and both are equally gorgeous. Which one did you receive? Flame or mist? I received flame, which is orange blossom and mint. And like I said, that's from In the Wick of Time. Ooh, that's white. That is a funky smell, like in a good way. It smells like something I've smelled before, but like I can't place it. It reminds me of maybe like a plant or something that my mom might have at our house because my mom is really into, I mean, I do them too, but she's way more than me. So cool, I like it. Okay, this is from the Tea Leaf Company. This month we've worked with the Tea Leaf Company to bring you a delicious and exclusive blend of green tea called Warriors and Legends, and it sounds loose. This green tea has hints of lychee and jasmine and is sure to calm you down after a long day. Oh man, I was just saying, I'm recording this at the same time that I did my Shelf Love Crate video, and I was just saying I have a huge headache. Um, so I think that this would probably be perfect. And that tin, the tin is so cool. And then the back it says, this tea is a celebration of Chinese history and heroism. And it tells you how to properly brew it. And it says the flower that blooms in adversity is the most and beautiful of all. And it's a special fairy loot limited edition tea. So again, that was the Warriors and Legend Tea from the Tea Leaf Company. I love how like the labels and stuff are color coordinated. I'm a little OCD in case you haven't been able to tell from my videos. And that kind of that kind of makes it better. Ah, I'm so happy for one of these items because I'll tell you when I get to it. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, no warrior would be fully equipped without their trusty quill to sign battle treaties, right? Well, the metallic feather pen brought to you by Flora's Wonder Emporium isn't quite a quill, but it'll save you from getting ink stains during battle. I have been wanting, and, and isn't it such a, like, trivial thing? It's, like, so silly. I've been wanting one of these pens for, like, my bookstagram photos forever, and all the ones on Amazon come from, like, really far away. Um, and have like really crazy shipping times and now I don't have to get one because I just got one in my fairy loot So I'm really happy for this quill pen from Flora's Wonder Emporium. Super exciting These are awesome as well. If you have never owned any warrior themed socks, you now do We have included Celtic socks brought to you exclusively by fairy loot. This design has a Celtic knot pattern Which was a form of decorative Celtic art. I'm Irish like a whole lot of so I'm totally down with these socks for sure. Celtic warriors are fearless, skilled, and deadly, and it's believed that women fought too. Darn tootin'. Actually, I can. Let's, let's open these bad boys up all the way. I have scissors. Let's let's get the full effect of. It's a little dark in here because I have the overhead light off because I have my filming light on. Ooh, those are so close. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to like, you know, I don't want to accidentally cut a hole in the socks because I've done that before too. Not on purpose, but I have. Ooh, I guess I'm going to have to keep this because I want to do a photograph after. So I'll set that aside and not lose it. But I wanted to get the full effect of the pattern on the socks for my video. You know? And this is what... This is live, people. Live and raw and real. Okay. Check out the socks. Okay. Love. Love, love. Just keep giving me stuff I love, Fairy Loot. Just keep doing it. Okay, next is this, which I love this brand because I've ordered from them before. We have collaborated with the talented people at Ink and Wonder who have created an 
exclusive one ring wood bookmark for you. This gorgeous bookmark is made from sustainably sourced wood and features a quote from Lord of the Rings. One ring to rule them all. And this is Ink and Wonder. They are not, like they are on Etsy, but their shop is its own website. So it is inkandwonder.com.au because they're Australian. If you'd like to see the thinness of the bookmark. Okay. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. This is, ever wondered about all the different mythology in the world? Well, now you don't have to. We've included World Mythology in Bite Sized Chunks by Mark Daniels, which gives a brief introduction to some of the world's myths. And I love, I love an onk. I've wanted an onk tattoo since I was a teenager, and I've just never gotten it. I have a whole bunch of tattoos. I just never have gotten that one. I love the idea and the belief of eternal life. And this is, it's cool. I dig. So, untangling the complex web of deities, monsters, and myth, this is the perfect primer to world mythology and its extraordinary impact on cultures past and present. This fascinating guide reveals all the intriguing stories behind the titans and creatures, gods and goddesses, heroes and traditions of legend from around the world, an easily digestible bite-sized chunk. And a little surprise that the book I'm going to be working on for Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo is going to be a modern retelling of a Greek myth story. So I will probably find this very helpful. All right, let's see what else. I'm getting close to the end. I can feel it. Okay. Um, looks like there is a sample, a first chapter sampler for Neondel, the Red Abbey Chronicles, out now. I have not heard of this. Perhaps you have. It has an awesome map in the sampler, though. That's for sure. Love a map. This is the cover. Probably pronouncing it wrong. It says... In the opulent palace of Oadin, Oadin, women have one purpose to obey. Some were brought here as girls captured and enslaved, some as servants, some as wives. All of them must do what the master tells them, for he wields a deadly and sacred power. But the women have powers too. One is a healer, one can control dreams, and one is a warrior. One can see everything that is coming. In their golden prison, the women wait, they plan, they write down their stories, they dream of a refuge, a safe place where girls can be free, and finally when the moon glows red, they will have their revenge. So, pretty cool. Actually sounds really interesting. So I'll be checking that out. And then here I believe is, there is a card for the Tea Leaf Company. And like I said, I always have to go through all the little, all the little things, make sure I'm not missing something. Because like I said, it's happened before. Okay. Last but not least is this month's Fairy Loot book. I'll pick that up in a second for the end of my video. All merchants and vendors will be um, mentioned, listed in the comments below, so check that out. And um, be sure, if they have an Instagram, I will post the Instagram if you would like to check them out further. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so there's my Fairy Loop bookmark with the theme. There's their buddy reading code, signed book plate, which I like to put in right away, so I'm just going to slip that in the book. Their Fairy Scoop which I like to read, so I'll set that aside. Uh, the book is The Flame in the Mist. It says, as swift as the wind, as silent as the forest, as fierce as the fire, as unsinkable as the mountains. And this is the bookmark for that. Is it the right way or the far away? It goes this way. Okay, so that is cool. I like to put all those goodies inside as well. This beautiful the letter that comes with it, I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing, not gonna lie. I actually have a huge, and I've talked about this on Instagram and people are like wanting to see it, so I'm gonna have to find a picture because I don't have any current pictures. And then since I've had back surgery, so like I have a little bit of a scar through my tattoo now, I have a huge phoenix tattoo on my back. So to the fairy loot readers, as far back as I can remember, I have love stories entrenched in the world of martial arts. I actually have a brown belt in Taekwondo, fun fact. Uh, perhaps it was my childhood spent in South Korea, perhaps it was my mixed heritage, or perhaps it was my parents' insistence that I study Taekwondo from an early age. I rather think it had much to do with the idea of a stranger foe being felled by a craftier, smaller adversary. You see, I was never that good at sports. Whenever the ball was hurled in my direction, my first reaction was to scurry and leave it to someone else. I knew I couldn't kick it far enough or strike it hard enough to make a difference, even from the age of seven. It was already a cliche, the girl with good grades and glasses always picked at last for teams in gym. When I donned my dobuk and cinched my taekwondo belt tight around my waist, I suddenly became invincible, even in a class dominated by boys. Because I couldn't rely on someone else and it wasn't enough to be strong, in order to avoid being struck down, I had to be quick, smart, fearless. 
Flame in the Mist is the story of Mariko, a girl who knows her strength but has never been before, before been challenged to face her weaknesses. When I wrote her, I pictured my brilliant younger sister, a scientist with numerous rewards to her name. Hermione Granger, with her books and her wit and her unceasing fount of knowledge, never once did I picture myself. And yet, my childhood fears wove their way into Mariko's character. My experiences became mirrored in her own, and I began to see not the girl I wished I had been at 17, but rather the girl I truly was, one with hopes and dreams and fears not yet realized. Mariko is a girl with, who unwillingly molds the worst of herself into something far better than she could have imagined. She gets lost in a haunted forest. Dressed as a boy, she befriends a band of ninja mercenaries, infiltrates their ranks with the intention of undermining them, and is bewitched by their world of mystery and magic just as they are bewitched by her. This is a story of a girl on a quest to learn the truth about life, on the way she learns about the truth about herself, much like I did. I hope you love Mariko as much as I love her, and I hope this book transport you, transports you to her world, so that you can laugh with her, cry with her, feel the kiss of rain against her cheek. Mostly, I hope you feel the courage she doesn't even know she has, the courage that lies deep within us all. Warmest regards, Renee, I actually don't know how to pronounce her last name, Adia, Adia, I'm actually going to look that up. Usually I'm very good about looking up the names beforehand, but because I did this um, book off the cuff, I didn't look it up beforehand. So, this is also from the author of The Wrath and the Dawn, which is a series that is behind me on my shelf somewhere that I need to read. But this is the cover, and this book has been mentioned to be kind of like a spin, a female spin on Robin Hood, which I think is incredibly cool and exciting and I think the cover the cover is amazing it's to die for it and this is the book that I was hoping that it was I I love this cover I just I can't get over it it's so beautiful okay so that was the Warriors and Legends May 2017 fairy loot box this video was a little bit longer it's always a little bit longer when I do it um do a live video so this was the card to go with it and the book was flames in the mist or flame in the mist excuse me and this is fairy loot so in the meanwhile happy reading and happy writing